Welcome to ChemSpider, the free chemical database provided by the Royal Society of Chemistry. ChemSpider is a search engine, kind of like Google. Users can add and curate data like on Wikipedia, but it is designed to understand small molecules and best of all, it's free to use. A record on ChemSpider may contain many kinds of information, including physiochemical properties like melting points, boiling points and density, interactive spectra, links to chemical vendor catalogues, literature references and patents, and more. We collate this information from hundreds of different sources, including Royal Society of Chemistry journals and databases, and content from other publishers and indexing services. We also collect data from many resources across the internet, including Wikipedia, as well as specialist databases like Kemble or the Cambridge Structural Database, and catalogues from vendors like Alpha Azar and Synthonics. Finally, users can promote their research by contributing data. We can usually provide direct links back to the original source of the data, making ChemSpider a great place to start your chemical search. Since our data comes from so many different sources, we continually work to improve data quality through automated filters, as well as manual curation by Royal Society of Chemistry staff and users like you. ChemSpider is free to use, and there is no need to register to start searching. You can find compounds by name, by structure, or through advanced searches, combining different types of search. We take a unique, structure-centric approach to storing data. This means that all of the data on ChemSpider is associated with a discrete chemical structure. This is important because as chemists we might work with complex molecules, like this one. But unless we already know it's called Brevitoxin B, we wouldn't be able to work it out just by looking at the structure, and we would struggle to draw the structure correctly just from the name. Even simple molecules might have different generic names depending on where you live, and dozens or even hundreds of brand names. So instead of starting with the name, we start with the structure and tie all of the names back to it. Then we associate all of the other information we have about the molecule with that structure. You can find out more in the help files on our site, as well as other videos in this playlist. Keep up to date with ChemSpider developments by following us on Twitter or by reading our blog. If you have any questions or you would like to get involved, email chemspider at rsc.org.